Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about another application of central limit theorem. So I'll share my computer screen with you. So systolic blood pressures for women between ages 13 to 24 follow a normal distribution with mean mu equal to 114.3 and sigma equal to 13.1. Find the probability that the systolic blood pressure of one woman in this age group is above 120. Part A. Part B. A simple random sample of size 40 is selected from this age group. Find the probability that the mean systolic pressure is greater than 120 for this group. Part C. If a sample of size 4 is drawn from, the, from this age group and we did not know the sh shape of the distribution of the systolic blood pressure, for the population, can we use central limit theorem? So let's get started. The solution, part A. So part A. So the mean is 114.3. So mean is, this is a normal distribution of blood pressure mean is 114.3 and sigma is 13.1. We want to find the probability that the mean blood, uh, that the blood pressure of one woman is above 120. So this is the area we want to find out. This is 120 on the horizontal axis. Okay, so we want to find out what is the probability that the blood pressure for this woman is greater than 120. Okay, remember here the sample size is one woman only, n is one. Okay, so that is, uh, we will use TI-84. So second, verse, second key, then verse key, verse, V A. R S Varsky and then scroll down to normal CDF. So my lower, I'm starting from 120. So what is my upper? It's a very large number on the right hand side. We type one, then we press the second button, then we press the comma button, which is on top of seven. That gives me the small capital E and then 99. That means one followed by 99 zeros. 99 zeros. Very large number on the right hand side. So the curve, as you know, on the right hand side stretches to infinity. Okay. And the mean is 114.3. Standard deviation is 13.1, and we do PEST, and put the cursor on PEST, and then hit enter, and enter. Okay, so, second, worst key, scroll down to normal CDF. Lower, we start from 120. We always go from left to right, so lower is 120. Upper is one, then second. Comma button is on top of the seven button, gives me small capital E. That means one exponent 99. One followed by 99 zeros, a very large number on the right hand side. The mean is 114.3 and the standard deviation is 13.1. Then I go to paste, enter, and enter. So the answer for p x greater than 120 is equal to 0 0.3317. 0 0.3317, that's a three, one seven. Okay, now we are ready to do part B. So I'll create some Oops, my mistake.
So just create some space by moving this up. And this. So part B. Okay, in case change find n is equal to 40. Okay. Now sample size is 40, and we are talking about the sampling distribution of the means. It is a curve like this. Okay. Mu x bar is equal to mu is equal to 114.3. How about sigma x bar? That is equal to sigma divided by square root of n. My sigma is 13.1. My sample size is 40. So it is 13.1 divided by second button, then x square button gives me the square root, type 40 inside it, and enter. So sigma x bar is equal to 13.1 divided by second x square, which is in the first column, gives me the square root, inside the square root 40, and I hit enter. And sigma x bar is 2.07. Okay, so if I again move this, uh, or I can reduce this a little bit. Okay, so sigma x bar is 2.07. Now uh, we want what is the probability the mean is greater than 120. So 120 is somewhere over here, and I want the probability on the right of. So 120 over here, I want this one. So this is x bar equal to 120. So now I want probability x bar, not x anymore. I'm talking about this is a, uh, I have to write down, this is the sampling distribution of means. Distribution of means, okay. Sampling distribution of means, this one. Okay, probability of x bar greater than 120. Again, we use second key, worst key, then normal CDF. My lower is also now same as before, 120. My upper is same as before is 1e99. My mean is same as before, which is 114.3. What will change this time is the sigma value, which we will use is 2.07. And then we will do paste, enter and enter. Okay, so let me create a little bit more space. That will do it. So go back. So second verse, I go to normal CDF. My lower is 120. My upper is 1. Then second comma gives me the E, 99. My mean is 114.3. That does not change from the previous part. However, what changes is sigma value is 2.07 now. And I paste, enter, and enter. And the answer now, probability of x bar greater than 120 is equal to 0 0.0029. So this is the answer for part B, 0 0.0029. Part C n is equal to 4, which is less than 30. Also, we do not know for this part the shape of the original distribution. Whether it is normal or not, we do not know. 
shape of original distribution in this part. Okay. In part C. As written over here. So if I take care of this. If a sample of size 4 is drawn from this age group and, and we did not know the sh shape of the distribution of the systolic birth pressure for the population, can you use central limit theorem, part C? The most important thing, n is equal to 4, which is much less than 30, and we also do not know. This is the key thing. We do not know the shape of the original distribution. Since n is less than 30, thus we cannot use the central limit theorem in this case. Central limit theorem in this case. And the reason is twofold. One is we do not know the shape of the original distribution. That's very important. Plus the second fact is that the sample size is much less than 30. So, and also we do not know the sh shape of the original distribution. Therefore, we cannot use the central limit theorem for the sampling distribution of the means. Okay. I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll appreciate that. Please share this video with your friends if you like it. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.